Perimeter of Composite Figures. Hi everyone, welcome back to my classroom. Today, we will learn how to find the perimeter of composite figures that are composed of triangles and quadrilaterals. Let's begin. First, let's meet Anna. She is working on her art project as shown below. She wants to put a ribbon around it. How much ribbon does she need? Clearly, we are being asked of the perimeter of Anna's art project. How can we help Anna figure out the amount of ribbon she needs? Anna got an idea. Let's measure each side and add them all together to find its perimeter. Now, let's use a ruler to measure each side. This side is 11 centimeters. The side below is also 11 centimeters because they have the same length. This side measures 9 centimeters. The other side is also 11 centimeters. And the opposite side is 11 centimeters too, since they are equal. Now, let's add the sides together. And the total is 53 centimeters, or 11 centimeters times 4 sides, which equals 44 centimeters, plus the remaining side, which is 9 centimeters. Total is still 53 centimeters. So Anna needs 53 centimeters of ribbon. Did you know that Anna's project is an example of a composite figure? A composite figure is made by combining two or more basic shapes like rectangles, squares, and triangles. Now, what shapes is Anna's project composed of? It is composed of two shapes, a rectangle and a triangle. Now, let's practice getting the perimeter of some composite figures. First one, let's get its perimeter. To get its perimeter, we can simply add all the sides together. And the total is 40 centimeters. Another trick you can use is to multiply the sides that have the same length. For example, since we have two sides that are 6 centimeters, we can multiply 6 by 2. That gives us 12 centimeters. It's the same with the sides that are 7 centimeters. Since there are two of them, we multiply 7 by 2. And that gives us 14 centimeters. Now, let's add the other sides, which are 5 centimeters and 9 centimeters. And that is 14 centimeters. Finally, let's add all the sides together. 12 plus 14 plus 14 is 40 centimeters. So, the perimeter is still 40 centimeters. Now, let's go to another one. Here's another composite figure. Let's find its perimeter. But first, we can notice that one side is not labeled or given. So let's figure out its length first. We can find the missing side by looking at the sides that match it. The bottom side has the same length as the top side, which is 12 centimeters. This means that the bottom side also measures 12 centimeters. Now that we have all the measurements, let's add them all up. Let's start by multiplying the sides with the same lengths. We have two sides that are 10 centimeters. So that's 10 times 2, which is 20 centimeters. We also have two sides that are 12 centimeters. So that's 12 times 2, which is 24 centimeters. Then add the remaining sides, which is 3 and 7. And that's 10 centimeters. Now let's add all them together. And the perimeter is 54 centimeters. Wonderful! Now let's try another figure. Let's get its perimeter. Here we can see the measures of two sides are missing. So let's figure them first. Again, we can find the missing sides by looking at the sides that match them. What do you think is the measure of this side? Now look at the two vertical sides. The full length 
is 12 meters and one part is 6 meters. To find the missing side, let's subtract 6 meters from 12. So the 12 minus 6 is 6. Therefore, this part is 6 meters, which is the same as the missing side. Therefore, it is also 6 meters. Now, let's find the length of the bottom side. At the top, we see two parts. One is 6 meters and the other is 13 meters. If we put them together, just like puzzle pieces, we get 19 meters. And now that we have all the side measurements, let's find the perimeter. We have three sides that are 6 meters, so we can add them or multiply. 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18 meters, or 6 times 3 is 18 meters. Then, let's add the other sides. 12 meters plus 13 meters plus 19 meters and the 18 meters, the total will be 62 meters. And that's the perimeter. Great job! Now, can you try and get the perimeter of this composite figure? You may pause this video and comment your answer. Wonderful job, students! You made it this far. Now, here are the things that you learned today.